It's a Monday afternoon here in Pigeon Forge. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're coming to you live from DDX Studios here in Pigeon Forge, about ready to roll out another week of segments here of Get Married in the Smokies. My name is Ron, your host. I encourage you to go to Facebook, like the page Mountain Fun Life, and like the shows that are all a part of it. And we're getting ready to start this week's segment, so let's roll that intro. Smoky Mountain Sounds is proud to be a community sponsor of Get Married in the Smokies. Smoky Mountain Sounds is your one-stop resource for your wedding needs here in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. You can check us out on the internet, SmokyMountainSounds.com, or on Facebook, Smoky Mountain Sounds. Smoky Mountain Sounds is a proud community sponsor of Get Married in the Smokies. Good afternoon and welcome to DDX Studios here in Pigeon Forge. My name is Ron, your host for Get Married in the Smokies, a show that is dedicated to promoting wedding and events in this weddings and events in the area. Uh, so each week I'll highlight different wedding professionals and also speak of educational topics. If you uh, like the page, we hope you'll tune into the segments. If there's a vendor or something you'd like to see on the show or you have any questions, please message Mountain Fun Life or message me at my personal Facebook page, which is Ron Crivelloni. I do want to say a big thank you to Sevier County Fair, as they are a sponsor for today's segments. Uh, the fair will run uh, from August 28th through September 3rd. The exhibit intake begins August 16th. And for more info, go to SevierCountyFair.org. So again, a big thank you for them for today's sponsorship. Uh, get married in the Smokies. And for more information on that, again, go to SevierCountyFair.org. And I'd like to welcome my first guest this afternoon, Mr. Jeff Wilsey. How are you doing, Ron? Good. How about yourself? I'm fantastic. Thank you. Good. It's glad to have you on here. And the reason I wanted to have you on here is there's a lot of different elements that go into for wedding. It's yes. not just vendors participating, but a lot of times it's more creative than that. And you have a business that kind of takes advantage of that creativeness. Yes, I do uh, wood burnings. So I have a wood burning business. And a lot of brides contact me to make special gifts, or actually families of brides mm -hmm. contact you, to make special things for the bride and groom because sure. we can personalize. Yeah. We can um, come up with pieces that, um, you know, say something about the bride and groom to, for them to hang on the wall and remember exactly. later. So that's that's what we do. How did you get started in the wood burning? Oh, it was uh, probably 15 years ago when I lived in Florida. Okay. I was working for Walt Disney World and um, I was suffering from depression, believe it or not, working for Walt Disney World. <laughs> and that kind of, that's kind of a fun thing, but. Um, it's like an oxymoron. It is it? kind of, yes. Okay. But um, for me to, I, saw somebody do wood burning. Sure. I don't know who, I don't remember that part. So I tried it, and my first piece I ever did was dopey. And it was not a self-portrait. I was gonna ask. Yes, I know okay. you were going to. So I did a little piece of dopey, and I still have it somewhere. Okay. Um, and I just like, it was relaxing. I did it, just I do it sitting on my couch. Mm -hmm. um, so it just was something for me to do to chill away from the hustle and bustle of Disney World. Sure, that makes and, sense. And um, I just got into it. Um, I did it just as a hobby for a while. It's still a hobby, but I do use professional tools now and everything, and I do a lot of pieces now. Now that, I mean, I've seen a lot of your different burnings, and that takes not only a steady hand, but that takes a lot of patience. Yes, it does. It's very time consuming. And that's why my wife asked me, why do I do it? So how do you do that <laughs> if it takes a lot of patience? But it does take a steady hand, and that's another thing. I have some nerve damage in my right hand, so it it's hard for me sometimes so and my hand challenge. will shake so hard that I have to steady it. But Now um, do you have a piece of I have some us. pieces in out. I just brought some samples. This is sure. one of my favorites right here. I Let's uh, take a look at this. Now this is the serving tray. And okay, these are I was going to ask you that. Yeah. These are great pieces for weddings because they look nice hanging on the wall. Uh -huh. And this one obviously is a military piece um, with part of the Vietnam wall on it. Right. That's what this is. But for a wedding, what you would do is probably up here or in the center, you right. would put 
the last initial of the bride and groom, sure. and then their first names, sure. and then their wedding date. Okay. And it could say Sevierville, Tennessee, it could say Where's Valley, it could say wherever they got married. And then you can have the people, the guests sign around it. Okay, I, I could right? see that. And that's the most popular thing that I do. Okay. Is, uh, I guess they're called guest books. It's, yeah, it's exactly. kind of a takeoff a of, the guest book, of, of the guest A different variation of a guest book. book. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can have. Like what I did for a wedding once was the bride and groom were both into theater. Right. So I did a theater poster for them. Okay. And it was um, my wedding starring the bride and groom, and it had you know the tragedy and comedy mask with right. a bride and veil on it and all that the stuff on it, and it had starring the bride and groom, and it had the supporting cast, all the wedding party on sure. it, and stuff like that. So that's how you can do something to personalize it for okay. the bride and that's groom. Okay. That's pretty neat. That's and pretty neat. Now, with something like a wood burning, I'm sure that it's not where someone can call you up on a Friday and go, hey, I need it by Saturday. About how much time well, in advance does it take to actually... This piece I just showed you took probably seven to eight hours. Okay. And you got to realize that after you burn it, you have to clear coat it. And right. of course, about five coats of clear coat, depending on if it's going to be indoors, outdoors. Right. And um, so that takes a while to dry. Okay. All right, but the detail, if it's just a logo, like the last initial and the right, first name, right. it only takes about maybe an hour to do oh, one. That's not so bad I, at could, all. I could rush them overnight if I had to. So you to, can rush them if you had to. But I prefer two weeks' notice. Okay. So I can find the wood. Right. It takes a while to find the wood. Um, I have a supplier now in Weirs Valley, um, a family sawmill out there. Uh, Charlie Fox supplies me with my wood now. Awesome. And he has a scrap pile he lets me dig through and take free stuff out of. It'd be like Guitar Center having a, <laughs> taking you into a room and saying, you know, here you go. Here's all our it. overstock stuff. <laughs> take what you want. It's like Christmas in July. Uh, if you're listening, Guitar Center, that would be nice. Just saying. Okay. And then, so I just brought. These are just works I've done, but they show the different pieces I can do at a so wedding. So let's see what this one. This is. would be, just take pieces of wood and put them together oh, like yeah, this. Oh yeah, yeah. Now a wedding piece, just you know, would be a lot bigger than this. Okay. It's just I couldn't bring the big pieces here right, because right. of the space. And the car show thing would not be something I would do, unless sure. they were into classic cars. But the shape of the wood and the way you put the slats together, that's another type of piece you could hang on the wall. So now, not only do you do weddings, but also you get into craft shows and everything I do craft well shows. I did one in Maryville last weekend. I did uh, one in Weirs Valley the week before that, okay. and I'm doing Greenville, Tennessee this week. How has the draw been as far as having a booth and, and taking everything out It there? does pretty well. Um, I sell maybe 15 pieces at a craft show, awesome. which is pretty good because yeah. they average, you know, 30 to 40, 50 bucks a piece. Now, let's say if there's, you know, uh, what's your inspiration for putting pieces together? Do you go by season? Do you go by if you see like an event coming up? How you know, you that's pretty funny. I because I'll be laying in bed at night and I'll come up with an idea. Okay. So I'll jump out of bed, I'll write it down, and then I or what I do is I get on the computer, and I just start typing in weird search terms like sayings, you know, like inspirational sayings. Okay. And then I'll go to the bottom of the search engine and find some things that people aren't familiar with. Okay. Or if I want to do a military piece, I will type in military clip gotcha. art. Gotcha, gotcha. For weddings, I would, you know, type in, you know, wedding clip art, sure. anything like that. Um, ask the bride and groom. I ask a lot of questions when I do a personal piece. That makes sense. Um, to find out what exactly they want. Okay, that makes so. sense. So now if someone uh, was looking for something different, something unique for an event, how would they get a hold of you? Okay, I have a Facebook page, Wood Burning by Wilsey. Okay. Uh, so that's, I don't have a website because this is a hobby. I and so Wood Burning by Wilsey, and that's W-I-L-S-E-Y. Yes, W-I-L-S-E-Y um, on Facebook. Uh -huh. And Wood Burning is two words, Wood Burning by Wilsey. Okay. Um, and I have a phone number, but it's better just to go through uh, it's on the web. It's, it's on, on the Facebook page. On the Facebook but, um, page. It's four zero seven nine zero one five two seven. It's still on my Florida number, from when I lived in Florida. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but that's changing very soon. So very good. Um, the one piece I really want to show you yeah, is please. most of the wedding pieces that I do are done on live edge wood. Oh, this is beautiful. Here Let's around in the Smokies, this is the type of wood people want. Now, this is a very small piece. If you add about a foot to this at about eight inches high that's about what a piece would be for okay. a wedding and the logo would go in the middle and then people would sign all up and down I get that because I've I can done see a lot where of got these the spaces for weddings, here yes. yeah absolutely. and then this is a blowtorch up top here this is done with a blowtorch to give it that kind of rustic look and all this is done at, at your place it's all done on my couch <laughs> I don't have a shop I sit on my couch and I have burn holes 
in it. My cats have singed fur because they sit on my lap. Actually, I had a Rocky, my cat, sat on my lap and helped me with this. So. There's a joke somewhere in there. <laughs> there is, but you're not going to come up with it. <laughs> That's good. But so, this is the most popular type of wood around here. Okay. So again, if you're looking for something different, uh, wood burning is a way to go is, you know, for a sign, for a guest book, for any kind of application, especially something like this could be custom designed for a wedding. That's absolutely perfect. And again, the Facebook page is Wood Burning. Wood Burning by, by Wilsey. Wilsey. So oh. check him out on Facebook, like his page, and uh, you have pictures up there of the different I designs? I have pictures of everything I've ever done. Awesome, yep. awesome. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for thank coming you, out. Thank you, Ron. Thank you thank so you much so for much. telling us about this. And if you have a comment, please make a comment on our Mountain Fun Life page or go to my page and make a comment or message me. We'd love to know if you'd like to have a guest on here or if you'd like to know um, if you'd like me to start doing some more educational material. I appreciate it. Also, again, a big thank you to Sevier County Fair uh, for their sponsorship. Go to SevierCountyFair.org. And again, uh, thank you for tuning in to Mountain Fun Life. If you haven't liked the page, go to Facebook, like the page, Mountain Fun Life. You've got a variety of different segments on here from uh, Down Home with Ashley. We've got a social media show, uh, of course, Get Married in the Smokies. And we've also got a show with, I believe, Robert Ownby. So there's a lot of different things that take place. Uh, Mountain Fun Life is very interactive, and we'd love for you to be a part of our family. So until next time, we'll see you soon here at DDX Studios. Smoky Mountain Sounds is proud to be a community sponsor of Get Married in the Smokies. Smoky Mountain Sounds is your one-stop resource for your wedding needs here in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. You can check us out on the internet, SmokyMountainSounds.com, or on Facebook, Smoky Mountain Sounds. Smoky Mountain Sounds is a proud community sponsor of Get Married in the Smokies. <laughs>